Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Giovanni and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be wrapping up the fuel system on our 1981 C20 pickup that we're LS swapping. I left you guys hanging on the last video. I finally got all the parts needed to wrap that up. But that's what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and get right to it. First things first, I'm gonna take you guys underneath the truck, show you guys this. This is our 1987 EFI fuel tank that we set up in the last video about the fuel system. It's up in here, it's mounted up nice and tight. I didn't end up making a video doing this part just because it's pretty tight down here. It's hard to make decent content when you're working in such tight conditions. But I have the wiring harness for the fuel pump just kind of sticking out through the original factory hole. You could see right there. I have my AN lines running up to the front of the truck. And then I wanted to show you guys this because where we left off in the last video with the fuel system, my biggest issue was trying to find one of these filler neck hoses. And as you can see right here, and I'll put a link in the description, this is the part number I ended up using. I just ordered it online, I think through O'Reilly's. And what it is, it's just a 90 degree, I think it's a one and a quarter inch inlet and outlet, but it had like an extra six inches going down this way. So I just snipped it off and as you can see, it worked out pretty well. And then this line right here, this vent hose, that's the original stock one. That one worked just fine. You can use the original clamps and I just put one new hose clamp there cause I lost that one. Panning over to the transmission. This is gonna be one of the next things we do. I gotta finish bolting in that cross member, but I wanna make sure that we have everything in the right spot before we do that. As you can see, my center bearing here is kind of destroyed. So I wanna get a new center bearing and then we might just have to make a shorter first drive shaft basically. But yeah, so that's that's coming up after this. That's gonna be the next thing is getting all that sorted out. All right guys, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna be cutting back our AN lines just a bit. You can see we have maybe three feet extra right here. There's uh, on this particular intake, there's a return and an inlet. So that's why we have our two hoses. At some point I had marked which hose was which. I might have to go down to the bottom and see which one is which again. But in the meantime, we're going to trim back these hoses. So that way we can, you know, maybe mount them up against the firewall and they're out of the way. Not gonna be in the way of anything. No fear of them getting cut on anything. And then still have enough slack to kind of mount them and move them as we need to. So right now I'm gonna cut these hoses with the angle grinder and then we'll move on to adding the AN fittings onto them and putting the adapters. So the way I usually do these is I roughly get them where I wanna, where I want to, maybe like if I mount them to the firewall, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space, maybe right there-ish. So then I'll wrap it with electrical tape a few times and that's to keep the fraying of the wire or of the cables down. Okay, I can get this one, match it up. Yeah, that's about good. None of this has to be perfect. I mean, a little bit of play is better than none. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of position it on the intake right here. And I'll be careful uh, not to cut the intake or anything, but I'm just gonna cut right down the middle. go and now it's nice and stinky and I got all kinds of uh, rubber on me but that's fine so there's one of them and I'm gonna save these scraps because I might be able to use this length of hose for our power steering which I'm gonna show you guys you know a little bit later on all right so now that that's cut, we can start adding our AN lines to it. As of right now, I don't care which one's the return and which one's the inlet. I'm gonna add the same AN line to each one. It's only up here at the top that it matters is putting it on which pipe. So now I'm gonna grab the AN fittings that we got with our kit. If you purchased the same kit as I did, it came with a few AN fittings. If you wanna see the kit, what I'm talking about, the link is in the description. 
So basically the way this works is this red piece is going to go on there. And sometimes you could get it by hand. Other times you might just need to either get an impact with this size and kind of put it on or grab a wrench and just tighten it down. But we should be able to get it up snug. You should be able to see the black rubber actually touching the inside of the AN fitting. So there we go. That one's nice and on there. Then we're going to grab our other side and insert that into there. I'm going to do it until it's hand tight and then I'll go ahead and grab the AN wrench. All right, so for the longest time, I mean, I use, I normally just typically wrap the jaws of a adjustable wrench in electrical tape just to not mar the surfaces of these. But, you know, I splurged a little bit when I ordered these and I got this AN wrench, so we'll see how it works. Basically, it just has to be an aluminum wrench and that's so the surface of the fitting doesn't get marred because they are also aluminum. So I'm holding the red side by hand, but in a little bit, I will grab another wrench and hold that down as well. Okay, actually, it looks like I was able to do this all by hand. Let's see, if I could get this guy maybe like another half turn. Yeah, there we go. So that's our, that's our AN fitting. I mean, you could pull this thing as hard as you can and it's not gonna come off. And that's usually just how I check them. Like if I, if I can't pull it off using all my strength, it's, it's not gonna come off, it's not gonna leak, so. That one's done, and then we have one more to do. So yeah, as I said, I mean, this job can easily be done with just a pair of adjustable pliers with some electrical tape so you don't just completely destroy the AN fitting. But this wrench seems to be doing its job. It's relatively inexpensive. I'll leave the link for you guys in the description, but it was like $20 and it seems to be working pretty well. So, you know, I definitely recommend it if you guys are doing this. If you're going to be doing more than one AN job in your life, you know, it's nice to have the right wrench. Alright, now we're just going to snug this up. Obviously, buying two of them would have been a smart idea. But, one should do the job. Alright, we're all snugged up and they're ready to go. So now I got to go down to the bottom and see which one is the return and which one is the inlet. So once I figure that out, I'll mark it with some electrical tape down at the bottom and uh, then we'll get our adapters and connect them to the pipes. All right, so I went down to the bottom. I marked which one is uh, which. I had just put a piece of tape on one of the hoses. I'm really hoping that I marked the inlet and not the return. I think I would have probably marked the inlet. So I'm going to assume that this one is the inlet. I put a little piece of... Uh, electrical tape at the bottom there so I would know. I went ahead and ordered these as well. These are going to be our adapters to connect to the intake. These are the LS Quick Connect fittings to AN6. One of them is a 3 ace and the other one is a 5 16 3 ace goes on the inlet, 5 16 goes on the return. If I remember correctly, it's been a little while since I've done this, but the inlet is on the top, return is on the bottom. And so we should be able to just click these on and just make sure it's secure. So that's the three ace one, that one goes on top. And the five sixteenths goes on the bottom. Now, when I get to that point and I do start the truck, if it's not firing, I might have these switched. So I want you guys to remember that. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and connect these. I may wanna reroute the uh, hoses somewhere else later on, just so they're not in the way of anything. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and connect them just so they stay put. So obviously, you want to tighten that up with the wrench. This one doesn't really do that job as well as I thought it would. But, you know, I'm not going to be firing this up yet. I will tighten those when I get a chance to. Alright guys, so one thing I had forgot is the fuel filter. 
The fuel filter is gonna go on our inlet side of the AN hose. This is just the AN6, I think it's a 100 micron, micron fuel filter. So we're gonna pop this guy in there. We gotta cut our hose in half, add two AN fittings, and then just screws in there. And then I also have a mount that uh, goes, clamps it onto the frame of the truck. So let's get that done. All right, so I got the fuel filter mounted. It is directional, obviously. I don't think you can see the arrow. There it is. Arrow's going that way. 99% positive this is my intake line. Sorry, the feed line. And then there's a mount that come that I bought separate for this. I'll go ahead and get that up here later on. But I just wanted this fuel filter on so in case we, you know, start putting gas and everything in it, it'll at least be filtered. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys have any questions at all, you can always hit me up on Facebook, facebook.com slash Giovanni Dante Grego, Instagram at Giovanni Dante, or you can hit up the blog on my website, Giovanni Dante Grego.com. As always, I will see you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys have a great one.